Hey, what's up? This is Jared with The Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at Camera Plus Pro. This is the pro version of Camera Plus and it comes packed with a ton of features. So right from the get-go it launches the camera so you can start taking photos and it's very easy to use camera. Um, I'm going to take a photo here um, and show you an example. Over here we have our settings. I'm going to go into those in a second. Um, so let's hold something up behind the camera. We've got a little thank you card here. Um, and we can use the zoom tool here to zoom in. Now, zoom tools are are kind of they're good and they're bad because it does decrease the quality of the photo quite a bit. But at the same time, it's not bad enough to where if you were trying to see something from far that you could at least get an okay photo of it and know what it was. So it's not as bad as it used to be. It's it's getting better and uh, you know with the anti-shake and stuff that this app has definitely makes uh, makes it a lot better. So um, taking an item here I could touch at any point on the screen to focus on that individual point and then hit the camera button to take a photo so as you can see it just took a photo and then took me straight into uh, to so that I can edit it um, now if I want I can go back and I could take additional photos um, I could tap on this image right here and not save that photo it takes me right back so over here on the left hand side we have a menu of options and this allows us to do several things it allows us to take photos in a burst mode which we can set anywhere between 2 and 15 in the burst so but you have to go into settings for that too we could set a timer we could put a grid display up on the screen which makes it easier for uh, aligning we can also turn the camera face of the phone into a huge button which makes it easier for taking photos when you're trying to you know kind of take self portraits um, we can tag a photo and then we can go into our settings so let's go into our settings I've set my copyright name I can set a font color for that uh, turn on whether I want the timestamp of the date on the picture itself set the resolution set a password for photo lock manage my tag set the timer turn on anti shake and then do burst mode so I want to show you burst mode because the way that burst mode works is actually really cool so I've turned on burst mode let's hold up my card here and take one picture there goes the second one and there goes the third one so now it loads all three of these photos in right here and it allows me to review them so I could tap on them and see them and this is the kind of the pre-save function so this one looks like it's way too high these ones look like they could be okay so let's tap on them you see the little check mark lets me know that I've selected them and so now what I can do is hit this button and it saves them to my quick roll the quick roll is the camera roll that's internal to this app so it allows us to save these photos inside the app so that we can edit them before we export them to our actual camera roll on our phone so now if I'm to tap this camera button it takes me back gives me a warning saying that I may lose something which I did I lost that third photo that I didn't like and now I'm back and ready to take photos again so let's go into our quick roll which we can get to by tapping right there you can see that I've got three photos one is from when I was practicing and then the two that I just took so from the quick roll right here I could easily go and uh, share these with anybody um, this button right here allows me to tap on photos and then share them so I have two photos it says number of photos I could choose the quality and I could share them with my Twitter Facebook and Flickr accounts or I can email them to somebody as well right from here I can also lock these photos if I selected a couple of photos and hit lock then you'll see it locks those photos and in order for me to view them or unlock them I'm gonna have to enter my password which I've set to one two three four as a secure password so um, I can also sync those to my camera roll so now you can see what it is doing it is syncing those two photos to the camera roll on my phone the native camera roll so that I can sync those photos with uh, my computer the next time that I uh, sync my iPhone with my computer of course at any time I could tap on, on an image and delete it and it removes it from my camera roll you see the little icon up there that lets me know that that image has been synced with the camera roll on my phone so let's go back to the quick roll and select a photo now let's try the other one
Now this one's a little better. And let's go in and edit this photo. Tap on the edit button up here on top. And we have our edit menu over on the side. So we have our flash. We can add brightness to the photo right here. So as you can see, that definitely made a good difference to the photo. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK because the flash is something it applies to the photo and cannot be removed. So um, you want to make sure that that's what you want to do. We also can crop the photo, so if I wanted to come in here and crop the photo, I can also change the shape. So let's say I wanted to go with a square crop, I could do that as well. Oops, I accidentally double tapped. Let's cancel this and do it again. Double tapping on it uh, will apply that crop. So you want to be careful when you're tapping. All right, so let's double tap and apply that crop and hit done. You can also rotate that crop there with the rotate tool. Um, you have your color, saturation, brightness, contrast uh, with the sliders there. You have some color casts that you can throw over the image to give it a different look and feel, very simply. You can throw your uh, copyright down on the bottom and then apply a tag to the photo as well. You could type in a new tag or select from a pre-existing tag. So now that we're done editing, what we would want to do is save this image. Uh, or, of course, we could always revert back by using the little arrow right here and revert this image back. The little down arrow into the bucket right there is where we would save this photo. So I could tap right here and it saves it to our quick roll. And now if I'm to go and view our quick roll, after it finishes saving, I'll see the photo that we just added. And of course, I could sync that photo with my, um, uh, with my camera roll on my phone uh, just as I would normally. So I could hit pl uh, the play button right here, and I could play this as a slideshow and view several of these images um, if I have several of them in a row. Or of course, I could drag through them as well. So this is a very, very useful camera app with tons of functionality. Uh, for the price, it's only $1.99 for the Pro version. Uh, so I recommend that you check it out. Go to dailyappshow.com slash camera plus pro to download this app and see more information about it. Thanks for watching. Take care.